When you see this section over here with lots of content, what goes through your mind in how I've built it? I'm going to let you know now, okay, that this is not built with flex containers. This is the old standard section columns way that you use in Elementor. So when you look at this right now, how do you think this was built? And I bet a lot of you are going, well, that is one column with two images. Well, an image and a slideshow below. You can see the slideshow there. We've got column two with another image. We've got column three, which has got an image or something over here. And then you've got an inner section over here to do your quotes and your image, right? Is that what you're thinking? So you're going to be looking at this and going, yep, yeah, one section, three columns, and an inner section on column three. Is that what you're thinking? Please put yes, that's what you were thinking in the comments because I would love to know if that is what you were thinking. But here's the secret. This is one section, one column. Okay, get ready to be blown away now. So this is, let me just squeeze this up a little bit. This is one section, one column. Everything sits in one column. This image, okay, that we've added in, we just set the width of the image. By the way, this is 900 pixels in width. I think it was, yeah, it was 900 pixels uh, with a bit of spacing between all the items. So we've got an image here. The key bit was I set the height of the image. So I think I set that to 175 and I set it to be a cover as well. When you set your image, you can do your width and your height. Below here, in fact, let me show you the navigator so you get the idea behind what we've done here. We've got an image. We then had our second image, which sits side by side. Sorry, let me go back a step. This first image, the key thing also was the custom, the width. Normally they're set to default and that's what would have happened. Everything pushes over. We instead set it to be a custom width. So we can control basically how wide it is. You can see what starts to happen when I mess around with that. The second image, again, custom width, okay, and we set the styling for it as well, and this had a bigger height. The next image, which sits over here, is this image here. Same thing again. You set your width and you set your height. This one was 106 this time. And we also set our width. So we are starting to position things. The fourth item we set as the slides. And the same thing again. We set the height, we set it as a custom width. And this time, I messed around with the margin. Let me put that as zero because that's where the image ended up. For those of you in the know, I'm pretty sure you work out. The image went all the way down there because of the height of image two. This image here, image two, it's quite high. So image four just goes all the way down here. Well, that's easy to sort out, wasn't it? All I did was put some negative, um, sorry, it's a slides, by the way, not an image. I put some negative top margin on. And it was now positioned to be over there. We then had a block quote. Again, the same thing, custom width. And then I did some maneuvering to get it where I want. Now, for any of you that are saying, well, what's this going to look like on the mobile? Well, on the mobile, I probably won't show all of those images. Some of them will be hidden. And on the mobile, you'll adjust your margins and your padding because most likely everything will be like, you know, item one, item two, item three, item four, item five, item six, like that, right? That's kind of the drill with how things would be, you know, or you could have them side by side. But that's what I did there. And then I had another image. And again, the same thing. You set your width, you set your height, you set the custom width, you put it on the custom and then you mess around. Because look, if I take the zero off, it was down there. Because everything, based because of the height of this, things were now going um, to be underneath this but they were sitting side by side. And then with a little bit of maneuvering of the top margin, like that, side by side. The power of custom width, no intersection, one column. Kaboom, ka-ching, kaboom, right? If you've not played around with custom width, you're missing the trick on layouts. I'm telling you now. And if you, if you start to appreciate custom width and how that works, when you do eventually make the move onto Flexbox container or whatever else comes next, you're going to understand it so much smoother and better than if you don't. So that is one section, one column. I mean, look at it. It looks quite versatile, don't you think? Like you've got this slideshow as well. 
that's playing off there. And it's easy to go, yeah, three columns in a section over on column three. Yeah, I can see what they did. Did that fool you? Or maybe not. Or maybe you think this is a load of trash and you don't care. Either way, I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow. I'm Imran Web Squadron. I'll see you. Never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win it life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain, let the grind, I could change, in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way, to win it life, I never miss that fact, taking big swings, dish, hand me the bat, put me in the ring, you'll go out in a bag.